Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razavi and today I'm going to explain to you how you can watch anime in your terminal. It's very simple, it's the most simple thing ever, really trust me. Um, you can use this on basically any platform, even on Windows. Uh, I'll be using Linux, um, in fact I'm using Fedora 43 KDE. Um, the tool is called AnyCle, so if that's all you wanted to know and figure it out yourself, then by all means, that's the end of the video for you. Um, it's a very nice tool to use. Uh, if you go to install, it'll literally explain to you how to do it. I'm not going to go over everything. I use the Fedora one because I'm on Fedora. It's it's so freaking simple, really. Um, then what you want to do is you go to the terminal. You type in AnyCle or Cli. I'm not really sure what the pronunciation is there. I just say Cli and you search for an anime. Okay, so this can be, let's see, what do we want in this case? We want Dr. Stone. Now you'll get many uh, types of Dr. Stone. Let's go with the first one, with the season one. And we want to watch, I don't know, episode three. I don't know why, let's just say that we do. It'll then pop up soon. Basically, you can also change the quality and all that kind of stuff. But as you can see here, it works perfectly fine. You should not be hearing any audio. That is normal because I turned that off. But like, like I said, it is working fine. Now, there's a fun trick though, um, because it's always, it defaults the dub. Uh, excuse me, it defaults the sub. But if you want to watch it dubbed, it's very simple. You do any cle dub. And then we go to Dr. Stone again, or whatever the hell you want to watch. And then we go to episode three. And in this case, it'll show the dubbed version. Again, you won't be able to see that because, well, you know, the audio is not working for you, but that's how it works. It's incredibly simple. If you want to go to the next one or replay it again or go to the previous one or select a completely different one, maybe this time you want to go to the to the 11th episode for some reason, I don't know why, you can. And it remains dubbed until you change it again, right? So it's uh, un until you go to default setting again. So it's really simple, very useful tool. If you're on any platform, you can use this. You can even use this on Android. That's the fun part. Like I use this on Android a lot. You need uh, Termux. Uh, I might do a different video on Termux if you guys want me to. And it's so simple. It's just package install any clean. <laughs> that's it. It's so freaking useful. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how you watch anime in your browser or in your terminal. What am I saying? Uh, thank you very much for watching. I was Rosavi and you were you. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.